Welcome back, WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. It is uh, time for a spring positive conversation. We talk so much about our sponsors around here, and we talked about Planet Fitness, and I've had Teddy on a whole bunch. We're working out, we're working in. But the original relationships with my dear friends, the Bricks, Victor Brick, Lynn Brick, who are always, seems like about every six months we get together, and Victor wakes me up in the morning. I get my Rofo going. Sometimes I don't even need it. And I, I get these emails, and Deepak Chopra, one of my favorites, done a lot of reading, is involved with John W. Brick and with this Never Alone Summit. And I said, Victor, we've got to make a date. we got to get together here. And, I'm, you know, I, I went with the nighttime Baltimore look because I want to offset that sunny, beautiful sunshine you got behind you. You're doing a great event, and you, you just – you don't ever stop with these things, right? Like, you're probably already putting the November event together for what you're going to do, but you're really committed to mental health. You've been speaking virtually i've seen you out in front of people with masks on and all this we're finally opening the world up a little bit and there's a lot of people that 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 need to feel included in things after being cooped up for 15 months that's for, that's for sure you know in baltimore people know me as victor brick of brick bodies some people know me as victor brick of planet fitness but quite frankly around the world people know me as Victor Brick of the John W. Brick Mental Health Foundation. And we're one of the leading foundations in the world. This is not a local foundation. This is not an event-oriented foundation. So uh, whatever anybody does, please don't, uh, don't mistake this foundation, the John W. Brick Mental Health Foundation, as a foundation that does events. Our vision is to change the way the world treats mental health. And we do that three ways. We fund, and promote, we, we fund research. We've got one of the gold standard research studies going on with the University of California, San Francisco right now on how positive stress affects mental uh, depressive symptoms. We create programs and services, create, fund, and promote programs and services. And we serve as a collaborative hub for mental health, mental wellness. So one of the, in, in the, in the area of collaborative hub, that is, we work with other organizations that are working in, planet, in the mental wellness and mental illness and mental health field, and we help promote them. They help promote us. We join forces and try to do good things. We try to collaborate on efforts. That's what the Never Alone Summit is. We've partnered with the Deepak Chopra uh, Never Alone Foundation to put on this event. It started as a COVID event, but it has now become an annual event because as you know, virtual is here to stay for sure. And our, our, we were so, it was so powerful last year that we, we decided to continue to do it. So here's the thing about mental health. There are two things that determine mental well-being, and those are connectivity and coping skills. Your connectivity is your friends, your relationships, your attachment to other people, personal relationships, Coping skills are knowing what to do, being able to handle, uh, being able to, do, to, to use uh, a proper holistic approaches and lifestyle practices to uh, when, when you, as needed to maintain your mental health. On the opposite side, the two things that cause mental illness and mental health problems are the opposite of those two, and that is loneliness and lack of coping skills. Now, Nestor, what did, first off, I, I, I jumped right in. I want to say, great to be on the show. Always good to see you. Oh, I'm I taking like notes already. We're going to talk I, I, about positive stress. Yeah. You know, we're going to talk I, I, about all this. I, I, I like your hair. It's looking good, man. It's bringing it back. I I'm didn't shave up for you. I feel no. like we're friends, man. I mean, no, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing my hair a little longer. Did you notice? But I still got the goop thing going on. I got to get the goop thing. In well, I see you going all over the world. I, I'm doing ah. this crab cake yeah. tour just here yeah. in Maryland, trying to like, get this together but i mean you've said so many things the virtual is here to stay yeah. this but is me, an me, interesting me concept let, too right yeah but let me finish on these two points the two sure. points are loneliness and lack of coping skills covid has exacerbated the loneliness and because most people don't know what to do nestor they didn't even know how to lose weight how much more uh, manage their mental health come on are you kidding me so they have they're lonely and they don't have coping skills. We are in a second pandemic and it is called mental illness. And it is sweeping over society and 40 to 60% of the American population, the world really is saying they are depressed. And well, so we- Victor, we haven't hugged anybody in 15. A lot of people have not, <laughs> haven't hugged anyone in 15 months. Like that, we that's- have, We've had the people dearest to us die. 
and not even be able to see them, not even be able to attend their funeral, not to be able to kiss them goodbye, our husbands, our wives, our grandparents. It's, 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 it's there terrible. will be scars. I mean, I don't think okay. there's any doubt about that. They, they say that the mental pandemic effects will, I say, lifelong. You miss your high school career, your high school season, your high school year. That's going to haunt you the rest of your life. They say 10 years, I say a lifetime. But anyway, the point is, is that, so remember what I said, loneliness. So Deepak Chopra started this foundation, the Never Alone Foundation, for that very reason. We have the John W. Brick, which is trying to uh, get uh, uh, salutogenic processes, such, you like that word, salutogenic? I'm Googling is, that. Yeah, Google it, Google it, such as, here's the hint, here's the hint such as exercise, nutrition, and mind-body practices. Substitute lifestyle for salutogenic, but it's just a little more specific. Lifestyle uh, integrated as an essential part of the mental illness treatment and mental wellness prevention or, or in, uh, mental wellness uh, improvement. Would you so, call loneliness mental illness? I mean, when I think about what mental ill, you know, like that, Unto itself, if you are alone too much, I, I don't think there's any study in the world that would say that's good for you. Well, here's the thing. Think about it. What does loneliness lead to? When you're lonely, you're also usually the D word. Depressed, of course. Depressed. Anxiety and depression are the root of almost every mental illness. Does, if, when you're lonely, is that mental illness? Not necessarily but it causes depression, which becomes a clinical mental illness diagnosis. Victor so, Brick is here. Uh, we're talking about uh, the Never Alone Summit. It's coming on the 21st. I want to give you all the oxygen you need on this event and working Deepak Chopra. And, and again, back to the beginning, talking about every six months having you on to talking about an event going on. I want to go back to the virtual part being here to stay because this somebody, uh, it was Jackie McCusker from Nacho Mamas used the phrase and said the blessings of COVID, you know, things to come out of this that right. can be useful. Things will take along with us. Challenges we overcame and remember that we overcome them the virtual part of allowing everyone in um over the last year and a half that i click on concerts i click on events ted talks where, wherever it would be that we're all very comfortable making meetings bearing our soul talking about things maybe into a camera that we would prefer to be on a couch and have human contact over the last year and a half but but educating people and reaching people who are alone, right? That all they have is this computer and this Wi-Fi. that we do have a way to reach people now, right? That, that people are more open to this being, while not the same as hugging and sitting together, this can be healing too, that, that in a lot of different ways. Okay, we could go, you and I could speak as usual for hours what, uh, on, on so many different topics and they all kind of center around general principles. And one of the things about progress in a company, in an individual, in a group, you've got to be committed to change while preserving the core. Think of the yin yang circle, one black, one white, with a white in the black and a black in the white, committed to change while preserving the core. Let's take electricity. Electricity changed our life forever. You can, can't say that it wasn't a positive, but in many ways it screwed a lot of people up because all of a sudden we took our circadian rhythms, we threw light on it 24 seven. We can have light anytime we want. And all of a sudden, most people are out of their circadian rhythms. In the old days, you had no choice. You went to bed when the sun set, you got up when the sun right? you had no choice. So what was the positive, quite frankly, has become very destructive in many ways. Why? Because they didn't preserve the core of the circadian rhythms and getting up with the sun and going down with the sun. The sun controls life. Same thing with, with Zoom. With, with virtual. Do not let it control your life. Do not let it replace the core, and the core is human relationship. It should be a supplement. It should not become, quote, the new normal. I hate that word. I hate that word, the new normal. There is no such thing as normal. We're constantly evolving, but we got to preserve, be committed to change while preserving the core, and the core is Teeth and eyes, flesh, um, 
communication is, uh, 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 let me see, uh, 35, uh, 57. It's 35%, uh, 38% of uh, the words you say, 55% uh, your body language, and seven, oh, seven percent the words you say, 38 percent your tone or inflection, 58 percent or 55 percent, whatever the math is to get to 100, of your body language. So how can you, how can you transmit that on Zoom, on, on virtual? You can't. I don't even know if you're wearing pajamas. You yeah, know? <laughs> exactly. You cannot. You cannot. And so it, it's things like that, that, uh, yeah, that, 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 well, they just don't translate. I mean, but, right. but the information from an information standpoint, look, we're trying to educate our children this way now, right? right? With Zoom right. and it flickers in and out. And we have mm -hmm. to have all of this together. But for what you're trying to do in growing your foundation, I want to go back to the core of what the John W. Right. Brick Foundation is. And what I would think that the virtual part of this over the last year and these events you've done have, have opened what you're trying to do around the world when you're inviting people like Deepak Chopra. In the old days, he'd have to fly in, you'd have to get a convention, you'd sell tickets, people would come over. Now, instead, it, you can't get this made, information out next week. It has made us an international foundation. Virtual has made us an international foundation. We had last year on the, the Never Alone, we had over 100,000 viewers from all over the world, 50 different countries, maybe more. And that's uh, different than packing Johnny United Stadium in Towson, but- That's correct. With, with, a bunch of, with, with, <laughs> with, with, with a great group of people, but almost all of whom came from no further than 50 miles away. And we can do that too, for sure. Well, they, they, give me May 21st. Let's talk about the Never Alone. So let's talk okay, about Deepak great. a little bit. I discovered Deepak back in the 90s, uh, right. you know, through work with Tony Robbins. And um, I, I, I quote his infinite, infinite flexibility being the key to immortality uh, yeah. all the time and trying to be infinitely right. flexible uh, right. with your outlook on things. And th that's what I think about with Deepak. So Deepak is the headliner, of course, and it's his foundation. And then the John W. Brick, we've partnered. But the, the, but the panel is so much broader than that. And, and it's, so it's not just going to be Deepak giving. Yeah, so, so you can look here. And, and see who they are, scroll, uh, it, it's uh, May 21st, and Absolutely. it's uh, uh, one to nine Eastern Standard Time, and it's free, totally free, register right there. And so we have Russell Brand, we have Jewel, we have, we have uh, uh, Fusenberg, Cagle, Kennedy, go down a little further, stop right there. Okay, do you know who Atman Smith is and Ali Smith is? Well, I'm about to find out, they're the co-founders of Holistic Life Foundation. From Baltimore, Maryland. Their nice, father, I like them already. Their father is Smitty, who coached against me when I was at Delaney at Southern. At the score at the half, uh, Southern was ranked fifth in the country at the time, basketball. I think the score at the half was like 66 to 10 or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still putting them on there. But here's what we've got. Half of the, it's kind of, think of it as a, uh, a, a, day of TED Talks on steroids, shorter, shorter presentations. TED's what, 18 minutes? Here is five to 12. One point, just hammering it, dozens of speakers. I think we have 30 maybe. Half of them are speaking technical, philosophical, like Deepak and some of these people and some of the doctors. We've got Dr. Carmona, who was the 17th Surgeon General of the U.S. We've got- Sort of foundational uh, knowledge yeah, and then practical knowledge. And right? then half of them, like Ali and Atman, are talking about what you can do. They are, among other things, their program, Holistic Life Foundation, is promoting meditation before school in underprivileged, com disadvantaged communities where the prevailing mentality of most people in those communities is, I can't, I can't. And they want to take it from, I can, why not me? I can do it. And, and so a meditation every morning, and it's, I'm oversimplifying a very- Well, that's a different mantra, program. obviously, right? L right. Literally. And I'm, I'm oversimplifying what they're doing, but it's a phenomenal program. We'll talk about forest bathing. We'll talk about Qigong. We'll talk about real, Practical uh, interventions again, the word salutogenic, which means practical, which means uh, holistic and, and uh, healthy lifestyle choices. So you'll get the you'll get the foundation, the basis, and the knowledge and, and, and the philosophy, and then you'll get some practical things you can take on. 
use yourself. Remember what I said, coping skills, loneliness and coping skills. The loneliness part is bringing everybody together. The coping skills are these, uh, are these processes we'll discuss in, the, in, in actual uh, practical applications along with the, uh, the, the, the educational part. Victor Brick's been my friend a long time here in Baltimore, Maryland, starting to break bodies and, of course, Planet Fitness. Uh, now uh, gallivanting all over the place and down in South Florida and doing this incredible Never Alone Summit. It's on May 21st. No horse race that weekend. We got pregnant, you know, uh, none of that. And uh, Victor, I, I just, for the John W. Brick Foundation and for folks, because we sort of skirt past that because we talked about it so much over the years when you're doing events here in Baltimore, up in Towson. But let's go back to the beginning of what you're trying to do and who your brother was and what this represents. And more than that, I want you to bring it into 2021 that if it's my brother or your other brother, that at this point they would have resources that maybe your brother didn't have a generation, a generation and a half ago. And right. I think that one of the resources you have literally is if you have a computer and you're depressed and things aren't going well and that you have something like the Never Alone Summit where there right. is education out there, there are resources right. to help you. And I would think that the people that log in and check in on this, maybe it's somebody like me that digs deep hop and like, likes yoga and likes meditation and wants to hear Russell Brand or Jewel, my wife loves Jewel, uh, maybe what they have to say about this. But I would think that this is a lifeline in a lot of cases, a lot of people, and I've seen this through you know, my work with Robin Spheres, people really get to their edge and they find the never alone summit and say, I'm lonely, I'm in the basement, I'm wherever that percept, that dark space that would be, that this becomes, if you reach one person, it, 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 it matters, right? But that this does come to people now in a way that you had to get in the car and go to Johnny Unitas in, in the past. Where would your brother be if he came in the door right now and said, I'm struggling with mental health? Victor, how can you help me? Because I think there's so many more resources. So just to refresh, we started, I, Lynn and I started the John W. Brick Mental Health Foundation, memory of my brother, John, oldest brother, suffered from schizophrenia his entire life, died from complications of the disease. The de schizophrenia is not terminal. However, the complications such as the medication that he took and the effect it had on his body was, and I'm convinced he died more from the treatment than the cause. And in all the years that he was treated, some of the best institutions in the country. Never once was he put on a fully integrated program that combined things like nutrition, exercise, meditation, other mind-body practices, along with a, 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 a psychoanalysis, medication, and institutionalization. So- Did he understand his illness or- No. Uh, and no. no. Most people you, do I, not. Then, obviously, yeah, you didn't understand his illness either, right? Ill. That's hey. part of being mentally ill. It's right, not and then the people it. around you don't understand that either. Correct, right. There's no way they can understand Correct. It. But historically, people have looked at mental illness as a vertical, uh, horizontal axis. Happiness on one end, as you move down the axis, you get into mild anxiety and depression. And as you move further down, you get into clinical, uh, clinically diagnosed conditions like schizophrenia, like uh uh, psychosis, like or they uh, give you a pill, right? And then you you get into suicide. And so as you move up and down this continuum, they that's how they treat you, depending uh, the degree of which they treat you. If you're further down on that continuum, they that's when they medic start to medicate you. In reality, we we I'm I'm part of the uh, uh, mental wellness initiative, mental wellness initiative of the Global Wellness Institute. And we have developed a dual continuum. Think of the horizontal and think of a vertical. In the vertical, you can go from languishing, using proper lifestyle choices, salutogenic processes and interventions, go from languishing to flourishing. So think of it like this. You can have no mental illness clinically, but you lost your job, you uh, are at odds with your wife. Death you, in the your family. Wife's left you. You're struggling, you drink, you're overweight, you don't Kids exercise. are struggling, sure. Right. You could be languishing even though you don't technically have a mental illness. Now let's look at my brother, John. He had schizophrenia. If he had been on the right holistic intervention program, good support system, good exercise, good nutrition, good meditation, good, he might've not needed the heavy medication that he took. He might've been flourishing. You want to go from languishing to flourishing. In your life, you want to flourish. You do not want to languish. 
hopefully, I don't, I, I know you well, but not well enough to know that you, I'm assuming you have no clinically diagnosed mental health issues. Not yet. No, I right. just keep working hard. And I'm sure you, and knowing you, I know you think of yourself as flourishing and I'm not well, talking we've about We've all been in a depressed place. Right. When I'm depressed, right. people know. Correct. Like, right. I mean, it, right. it, it, and that's it's when very you're, clear. That's when you're languishing. So the, the point is, where would John have been? John would be able to function with the condition, just like people can function with cancer and people can function with diabetes and people can function with all kinds of other illnesses. And that's where we want people to go. But, and, but, but in order to do that, he would need help. And the help would come in so many organizations that have just started. That's why we started this, this, this collaborative hub concept. There are so many other John W. Brick type foundations like the Ottmans. I mean, this Ottmans, like Ali and Ottman Smith starting this program. Kids in the inner cities, hopefully it'll become a national program. We're help, gonna help fund them in some way. So that would be available to them. Uh, hopefully we can, with these, this research we're doing, we can get hospitals to start having programs in the hospitals and having health fitness centers in the, in the mental health hospitals. You'd be shocked at the, at, at, at the fact that almost no mental health, health hospital has a fitness center. What do you do when you're depressed and you're not feeling bad? You go work out, right? You go move. So I, I put yeah, music move. on usually. Get, I put music move. on. Dancing's great. I, I move. move. You, you said it better than I do. My wife always says it. She says, move your body. Take, walk your dog even if you don't have, or your husband even if you don't have one. Take a walk. Move. Yeah. So can you imagine not having a fitness center? You got to, you know, I don't know. Come on, man. So anyway, the point is, there would be so many more options to, for him and experts like ourselves uh, uh, to uh, like our foundation to help him find the right way. One thing we are doing that we catalog 4,000 studies that have been done on salutogenic, holistic lifestyle process, uh, 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 approaches and different forms of mental health. So somebody like yourself, that's like John that was struggling can, can go and do and, and, and find out for himself. But one of the things the internet's done, it's made everybody uh, a researcher find out for themselves. Ideally, these people that are having, starting to have mental health issues, don't abdicate control of their body and their, their, their health to others. They take it upon themselves, just like I know you. Well, your wife, look at your wife. You and your wife did, look, did, did everything you could to address her illness and know what it was, you just didn't listen to somebody telling you how to handle it. And then on your beat, and it was phenomenal. Well, then the aftercare is eating organic food when we're shopping. Exactly. And it's, it, you know, it, it's a complete holistic. We're not done this conversation. We'll continue to extend it. Victor Brick is here. Of course, our friend from Planet Fitness and Brick Bodies. My love to your wife, family, grandkids. I know we had Mother's Day and all that stuff. May 21st, Never Alone Summit live. Never Alone Summit. It's May 21st. Deepak Chopra, Russell Brand, Joel, a whole bunch of people. Victor and Lynn are, are very much a part of it, and the John W. Brick Foundation. You do anything in Baltimore uh, soon with this is back again? Uh, yeah, we'll be in Baltimore next week. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, with John W. Brick, when oh, so we do something yeah, yeah. here locally, when yeah. we get these masks yeah. off, get back to Towson. Yeah. I want to yeah, make sure we, we're we, on that. We, we have several events, a lot, a lot of things planned for sure. Yeah, well, we'll we will visit posted. again soon yeah. on the backside of this and yeah. continue this ongoing thing because mental health, I mean, we have a crisis in the country. There's no doubt yeah. about it. I have Patty Moeller on about once a month and we talk to her down in Jacksonville as well about things people can do to your point. Take Lynn Brick's advice. Just move. Yeah. Let's start with yeah. that, right? Let's start with that. Victor, Baby I appreciate steps. you. You look Baby great, man. Steps. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you. Keep the corny jokes coming for all the insiders. <laughs> all right. I live. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. WNST.net AM 1570. Towson, Baltimore. We never stop talking. Good stuff. And Baltimore. Positive.